This is 50.com. Mm. The Heineken is here. Let's go. Yes, DJ Thoro, a.k.a. Thorozano, on the bridge to the streets. Let's go. And you see what it is, man? It's that boy punch that new face just looking like new money. I'm still happy to be here. What's up? Yo, we got my nigga back in full effect. Yes, sir. King Bo. Uh -huh. King BDM Bo. BDM Cartel Gang in the building. We in full effect. You already know what it is. Let's go. You know, this is going to be real touchy, but last time you came up here was you, Smith, and Russ. My nigga Russ Blade. For the Blade. people that don't understand. Rest in peace, Russ Blade. Yes, Russ sir. Russ Blade. Russ City. Like, how did everything, not to give any details, how did that come about? You know what I mean? Um, you know, make a long story short, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got people who, you know, my niggas was out here, you know, you see how we do it. You know what yeah, I'm I so, know. Uh, you know what I mean? He got caught out when some niggas trying to rob him. And, you know, we, on, we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't going out like that. So my nigga fought for his shit and, you know, rest in peace to my nigga. He went out like a G. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it. Um, and how's my the, brother. How's the dynamic? Because every time I seen you together, it'd be Russ Blade, Smith, King Boat, BDM, Cartel, Fresh. Cartel Gang, yeah. putting that music out, running around with Slate, hitting these streets legitimately. That's a fact. How did the dynamic change now that your best friend and partner is no longer yeah, here, man? Yeah, man, me and that nigga been together since I was like five. I mean, that nigga just turned 31, thank God. So, you know, it was like a new life. It was like different. You know what I'm saying? Nigga had to like, like it's like damn near when motherfucker get shot. Anything you gotta go through that therapy again. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like getting yourself back to walking, getting yourself back to doing anything. And then niggas had to get back to back to it. You know what I'm saying? Thank God I got some good niggas in my corner. And they're just like, look, man, you know, Blade wants you to finish this shit off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like like bigger than anything, do this shit for the God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Finish it off. Like you can't stop now. Cause you know how this shit go. You stop now, niggas just forget about you. <laughs> this business is cruel. You know what I mean? So, so I mean so true you get caught up, yeah. you know, cause you trying to Re-establish yourself, but Fast. you got a good team. Got, got a great you. team behind. Solid you. team, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. And what's been the direction now? Now that it's King Bo Cartel Gang. The direction now is just you know finish this shit on bring 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 it home. Like I mean, I, I want my nigga Russ to be able to see us out here doing what we were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 just really doing this music shit. Tours. You know, it's time to take it to the next level now. Tours. I mean, album dates and shit, and just running around, just you know, li living the life. We got the music. We been working. We been working our motherfucking asses off. So, you know what I'm saying? I got I got tons of shit with Blade still left, and you know I I'm a fucking writerholic. So I got tons of shit that I've been working on forever. So you gonna it's gonna be real fun. We, we, we gonna make this interesting. All right. Um. So yo, um, given you know the tra tragic situation that happened. Like are y'all how y'all are y'all like moving differently, you know, because of that or how how y'all moving you, you know what it is? Like we actually been we moving the same we've been moving. Right. It's just that night, you know, you get you somewhere where you're not really supposed to be with people you're not supposed to be with. One right. of those was none of us present right. attendance wise when this happened to the bro. Uh, yeah. So, you know, when he went out fighting, the motherfuckers he was with went out running. We don't do wow. that. So, if we, you know, like, you know, shit just didn't go right that night. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, now we just make sure um, from here on out, you know, niggas might not be isolated away from the team. Like, we all move together. We come mm -hmm. together, we lead together. If you, to answer your question, yes, we do move different now. Right. Well, okay. we come together, we lead together all the time. That's it. We make sure everybody get home safe. Ain't nobody going out nowhere without telling anybody. You know what I'm saying? You know, we keep this shit more tight than that. All right, so question, man. Um, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of people's familiar with y'all, like you saying with Slay, with everything that was going through. Do you feel, and you know, some people feel different. You feel like the streets are still the the way to, to, to generate a buzz? Or do you feel like you gotta really switch it and go all internet? Cause I know that y'all was really active on the hand to hand and just letting y'all presence be known physically. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. now, is it still possible for artists to really translate through? Oh, just through the streets without the net moving like that? I mean, no, not without the net. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You damn sure gotta incorporate the net these mm -hmm. days, period. So um, you damn sure, you know, the net is, 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 is really a key piece. You know what I'm saying? So you got to incorporate the net into this shit, and we will and are incorporating that shit. That's one of the main shit right now. 
is, you know, we already from the streets, we already been doing the streets, yeah. so now we pushing heavy on the net. And yeah. like you see all the blogs picking us up now, all the shit going through, and it's been for months and months now. We've been just putting it in, working on the net presence. So yeah. it's coming, you know, it don't happen overnight, so. You know I mean? How does that change feel for you? Is it, is it a comfortable transition to where it's like, you know, you get your record and you got to go and hit the it, WWW it, first? Yeah, you know, it, you know, you know, it's crazy. Enough. It's crazy because it, it goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like the, the way it's crazy is that now you'll look at this shit and be like, damn, well, you know, I'm from Queens, New York. You know, I'm manager from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we'll get a nigga from Baltimore, Maryland that's like, yo. Nigga, the whole B-Mall feeling, or, yeah. yo, we out in Vegas, and yo, you know what I'm saying? So that's the dope shit, you go overseas, you know what I'm saying? The net is like, nigga, you, well, you know what I'm saying? When it's in the streets, you got to physically be in these places yeah. in order to, you know what I'm saying? So that way, it's beautiful. Uh, the way it kind of feels a little weird is like, you know, when you used to running, you know, because a lot of people are different in person. <laughs> And over this goddamn computer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like a lot, of, that's like, the weird shit. It's like you got to deal with these computer now. Motherfuckers didn't change their whole character when they behind the screen. That shit yeah. is weird how, to me. How do you deal with that type of balance? Because you guys are in the streets. You grew up on a different understanding of hip hop. How to generate your buzz, like Punch was saying. Because we we all three Punch thorough on ourselves. We talking about different age ranges. Yeah. Like how do you transition your music to where? It's irrelevant for an 18 year old. How does an 18 year old understand your life? You know, you know what it is. We go 18 at once or another time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it feels different, different now. Though. It's understand something. everything. No, when you was on the train. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. You understand? Somebody had to usher you through that hood. When you had your, you know, little disc man that didn't skip. You had to fight for that. Now a little motherfucker could walk around with his iPod yeah, yeah, untouched. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a different world. Nah, it's a lot more comfortable these yeah. days. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, people like you know, but but that that goes to say, like with, with the fake shit that's going on today, like because you don't even like honestly to be real, a mm -hmm. lot of these people today ain't really who the fuck they portray to be anyway because mm -hmm. nobody gets tested. You know, the, the the era we come from is like nigga, you gotta have to prove yourself, yeah. respect. Ain't given that shit is earned, mm. and if you ain't gonna earn your shit, like you can't be walking around jewelry, you can't walk around spinning, you can't. Who, who the fuck is this and what the fuck? You already know what time it was back on weekend in the '90s, '80s, that right? You know. Now, do you think this element is still needed in today's hip hop? It is like same way I feel like it's it's relevant. It, it, it needs to like, you, you you should be able to beat the shit out of your kids. Like you know what I'm saying? Like all of this whole bullying and shit and all this shit they got going on, I feel like it's weakening society because ain't nobody been through shit no more. Now your kid, it's like if my kid grows up and he fucking is a killer, savage, it's my fault. But if I can't beat the shit out of him as a kid to check him when I realize he's bugging the fuck out, you know, because kids realize, oh shit, I can call the police on my parents now. The mm -hmm. fuck? How you gonna adjust the power like that? That I have seen a little motherfucker say, sure, hit me, I'm calling the police. I say, shit, I'm gonna hit you so hard, nigga, you ain't gonna call nobody. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna break your motherfucking jaw, you say that shit to me. Like, you your own kid will tell on you a snitch. Mm -hmm. Because you did some fucked up shit and you don't wanna pay the price for it. So with all that is being said and all of the different transitions, is the climate of music, the climate of New York, is that comfortable for you to, to be in? Like, do you feel like awkward? It's my, na it's it's my natural, it's my natural habitat. It's kind of like complaining about the cold. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm from New York. Well, 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 so I mean, like, the, talking about the, the feel of the music. The no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going there. I'm going there. Powers. I'm, I'm going yeah, 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 yeah. go there with you now, because you know, like I'm saying, uh, I'm from the original. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I remember how shit used to go. And me, sometimes, you know, a lot of people say me and my niggas might be a little bit stuck in time. Like, you know what I'm saying? We might be a little bit back there. I had to realize how crazy shit is these days and how different shit is these days. Yeah. And it's a very big adjustment that we all have to make a little bit. But, you know, we still wet behind the air, so I can't really give you all the answers as far as that. Because, you know, we still might get caught up in some shit doing things the way we do things. And the world might not understand that today because a lot of people don't move and do things the way we do it. Yeah. So we might give you this awkward. It's cool. Um, is it necessary for you to get this mega machine behind you? Yeah. So where, now I'm, honestly, because what they're going to sit there and say is your music is catered to a specific demographic, mm -hmm. to a specific lifestyle. 
like you're from Queens, your crew is Brooklyn, but we have rappers like Bam Vito, um, design like it's a whole different ideology yeah. in how they flow music. Yeah. What, new Brooklyn. It's new Brooklyn, new <laughs> Queens. <laughs> Thorough brings new hey, artists hey, through here every hey, week. Shout out to the new dudes. You yeah. Know so but <laughs> they like, just they just giving it to you the way they ever was living it. So I ain't I ain't mad at it. What, what are you gonna say to when you go to these meetings? Cause you guys generate interest all the day, all the yeah. time. When they're like, uh, who are we gonna market to? Everything goes full circle. And no matter what kind of food there is in this world, there's nothing like a home cooked meal. You know what I'm saying? So for all this shit, everybody trying new shit and doing all this shit, salute to you. But the people will always find, like right now, I personally believe, and, and I might be early on saying this, mm. but I believe the younger generation is about to start paying more attention to what the fuck niggas are saying now in their rhymes. It's gonna happen. Mark my words, because it, it's only but so much dumb shit and dumb dances you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much funny movements and, you know, like, you know, before niggas, because like, they're not going to get any younger. You know what I'm saying? They're going to grow up. They're going to mm-hmm. get older. And as they start to mature, they ain't going to be outside doing all this wild, crazy shit. They're going to have to uh, evolve themselves. And that's when they'll start to see more of when older people was trying to say, oh, shit, this, you know what happened to me? I remember back in the days when R&B and some smooth shit, you know, yeah. I'm coming up, I'm bumping fucking big and Raekwon and Ghost and these niggas and, you know, they try to throw on some old R&B shit, you know, old school shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that wasn't my era. That wasn't what we was doing. Currently today, I might listen to more R&B than anything. Makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So it's like sometimes you got to give the person time to, to evolve. It'll be all right. I, I, I fucks with the young boys. I ain't gonna lie, I fucks with the old boys. The, the young boys is cool as a motherfucker, cause they not they not they not afraid to be free. That that is one thing I do like about it is um in New York music to me, a lot of people started the shit started to sound soldier like, like almost everybody marched into the same beat, the shit got boring. Mm-hmm. So I do like the fact that now a motherfucker like, you know what I'm saying? Like uh come out and just try something else. Do something else. Just okay. try. So that's cool with me. But, you know, don't go too far the fuck off because, you know, it's hmm. still hip-hop. And you know, I think everybody will find their way. Certainly. I was going to say, um, you know, in, in my opinion, too, I was saying that, um, personally, I don't think, I don't know how old you are or how old you're not, but I don't think, uh, for instance, somebody that's 34 or 35 plus should be worried about making music for kids 14 years old. It's True. Different. Yeah, yeah, no, but, but, but you need a lot Salute. of people that... They're focused on, oh, well, the kids, I got to do something for kids. And th- that's not even, it's like two that, different walks that's of life. That's not true, right. That's, that's where the, 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 the mishap is. You got to let the kids yeah, have to be the kids. Yeah. Like, mm. He's 14. You got two different eras and growing and mentalities. Why are you trying to make music for a 14 year old? You might want to leave that for someone 18. Right, exactly. So I think, <laughs> I think the music would be better if yeah. people make music for who they make it for. And, and, and Facts. Make too, but, you know, that's just my opinion. That's a fact. <laughs> I like that. That's a fact. King Bo. What you want to leave him with, bro? Yeah, let him know. K Slay Hot Instrumental. What oh, type man, of man, right now, um, up. shit, we got on low. Currently, we just dropped that new joint with me. Um, shout out to DJ K Slay, me, Young Buck, Styles P. You know what I'm saying? Back against the wall. That shit's retarded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could go get, I got three, I got fucking five projects out right now from, from Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Nigga been working. Um, I got I got a fucking trilogy, Big Man, Big Monster Batman Trio, mm-hmm. one, two, and three. Them shits is all over the net. Uh, Audio Mac, SoundCloud, whatever, whatever. Et etc. Dot dot dot. Fucking um, lyrical exercise. That's out yeah. everywhere. Um, um, get lit or die trying. Hosted by K Slay. That's out everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got the EP coming right now. Um, Just Music, Fuck Politics. That's the Bone Blade joint. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A little EP we gonna put out right now. And I got my EP coming, the King Bo shit, Life of the King. You know what I'm saying? That shit's gonna be crazy. We, 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 we warming up. Summer, As summer's you coming. Should, man. And you know, we gonna be here. Cartel, gang, King Bo. Yes. You know, back. 